with that. Sorry, just loaded up and there's big explosion sound. So yes, we are back. Hi there. Um, what on earth was I doing? Uh, so activities. Oh yeah, as I was walking around sorting out inventory and stuff. Uh, Sergeant Yumi wants me back, so... We have entered the heart of United Colony Space. Okay. Oh, yes, that's a blinking good point. Oh no, I haven't got a skill point. Yeah. Okay. Never mind. Oh, whoa, wait. Sorry, I was looking at my hand, not where I was running to. So. Ah, crime has slowed down since you started helping out, which is good for morale. Okay. Yep. Something just came in. Scuffle over at the Dawn's Roost. Security on site handled it, but now one of them is saying the other guy stole his wedding ring. Problem is, he left without identifying the perp, so I need you to talk to Royce Elgin at the Dawn's Roost. See if you can fill in the gaps. Uh... Men like him aren't very generous with their time. They want you to solve a case without ever having to lift a finger themselves. Not that he'd be much of a witness, given that he was still half drunk when he got here and somehow even more so when he left. Sorry, wrong word. Rich people don't get drunk, they get inebriated. Which is another way of saying highly unreliable. Okay. Good. Report back here when the matter's resolved. See you later. Da, 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 da. So, where? Okay, they're on a different section. Make it so. Okay, eighty. Yeah. In here. Ah. There is simply no pe I do hope you are enjoying your time in New Atlantis. Ah, uh, a most unfortunate incident, complicated by the fact that both parties were inebriated. While I wasn't privy to the entire argument, Hugo and Octavio have been dining here together for quite some time. So, it was surprising to see them at each other's throats. Mm-hmm. Oh, yes, quite often. Uh, they had a usual table over in the far corner, with all the traditional accoutrements. Music, candles, wine. You see where I'm going with this. But this time the two had barely sat down before the argument got heated. Thankfully, security stepped in before anyone got hurt. Okay. Can you describe them? Well, the one who stayed with UC security, Octavio, is a shorter man, handsome and refined. Uh, his favorite menu item is the Saint, I believe. The other, Hugo Fournier, is a tall, slender gentleman with a French accent. Excellent tipper, well-mannered, but a bit hot-tempered. <laughs> okay. I wasn't witness to any theft, and both men were wearing rings, if I recall correctly. Hmm. I assume that would be the slender gentleman, Hugo Fournier. He was the one who excused himself after UC security arrived. 
I believe he lives in Athena Tower, although he may be checking out soon. But I would start there. Okay, I don't need to comment about... Enjoy the rest of your day. Anything else. Okay, oh, that's not a good sign. Doesn't have a number on it. Da, 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 da. Oh no, I thought it was in there, but it's not. It's round the corner. Hello. Oh, I can't believe that Octavio, that liar, that manipulator, that. Go on, finish your rant. That lying, cheating, foul piece of Don Glider dropping. If I had my way, I'd tie him to the back of a ship and grab jump it right into the nearest star. Five years we were together, half a decade. And he threw it all away for that waiter. Um. It was supposed to be a romantic dinner. Our last, before we pledged our lives to each other. But an hour before. I decided to do some cleaning to calm my nerves. I picked up a pair of pants he left on the floor and out falls a napkin from the dawn's roost with a number written on the back. To think he had the audacity to schedule a date with me at the same restaurant? I was livid. Still, I went to the date and held it together just long enough for the waiter to serve us then I went off! He would say that, but as far as I'm concerned, it's my property. He gifted it to me when he proposed. It's not his to return. Oh, um, that's... Uh, that happens a lot on Judge Judy from what I've seen. I don't care. I'm not giving it to you. Okay... We'll try the conditional thing. Is that what the law says? To be honest, I, I am not sure. I'm not going to keep it. I'm going to pawn it off. Um. A crime? You can't be serious. If anyone is a criminal, it's that two-timing Lothario. I don't care if you're with UC security, I have rights. And as far as the ring goes, I, I don't know what the law says, but I doubt you do either. As soon as my assistant finishes packing my things, I'm taking them. He would say that, but as far he gifted it to me. Ah, uh, still his property. We're not having this argument again, but maybe you can convince me later after I've cooled down. Furious. He would say that, but he gifted it to. Um. Good day. Hmm. Uh, where's the tram thing? Over here? Yes, over here. Spaceport. Uh, this way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I want to get check with Sergeant. You. Dr. Roy, how's the investigation going? Find out how. Um, according to the patron, the ring is valuable, but if I had to guess, not for sentimental reasons. Normally, when someone loses a valuable keepsake, they're heartbroken. 
The way this guy was acting, it's almost as if he lost a wallet full of creds. Hmm. So you're Chilling, not going to be helpful, and you say... Try asking when he's cooled down. Okay, so we can put a pin in this one for now. Um, where are you? You're on the spaceship. And you are on the spaceship. Oh, I can do the quick way, surely. Boop. Okay. Hey, what? Huh. I'd have thought I had a robot near me. Okay, let's go in. Come on. Okay. Down. That's okay, we're going down. Okay, this isn't looking great. Hey there. I have a I'm guessing this must be residential. No, that's not what I'm saying at all. Okay, we're getting closer. Ah. Hey. Wakey, wakey. Eggs and bakey. Ah. Didn't think we had any new miners on account of the positions being full up. Um. You seem awfully defensive. Defensive? No. I mean, okay, maybe I'm just a little concerned that we be hiring new people when some friends of mine were recently turned away. But that is all. Anyway, I'm Layla. When I'm not mining, I'm tinkering with Gnome, our unofficial mascot. I fill that computer brain of his with all sorts of nonsense and announcements. Of course, if you're here to chat, I'm always happy to talk shop. Especially if you're interested in talking about the heart of Mars. Ah. Okay, let's uh, start with the questions. This is only my second contract, so I think I've been here for, what, uh, four years now. It's great. I love it here. I'm working on getting those red eyes that are all the rage these days, you know. You'll hear a lot of these other chumps complaining about Sidonia. They say it's boring or dangerous or whatever. Look, I come from an ice planet. These people have no idea what they're talking about. Sidonia is practically paradise compared to where I grew up. Okay. So you program Norm? Yeah. Norm's been down here forever. He's also been broken forever. Can't actually walk or do work. And we don't have it in the budget to fix him. No one's had the heart to junk him. But when I started, I gave him new purpose. I programmed him to tell us local news and announcements. I modeled his responses after my own sarcastic sense of humor. It proved to be popular, so I did what any aspiring comedian would do and gave him a bunch of stupid jokes to tell. People love it. Or at least that's what they say. Uh, red eyes? Why? I mean, who wouldn't want cool blood red eyes? It's kind of a badge of honor thing around here. People know your hot stuff when you got red eyes. Also, it freaks people who don't know about them. Except for little kids. They always seem to think it's awesome. Either way, it makes for fun social gatherings. Okay. Oh, 
So you're interested in the heart of Mars, are you? Word is there's a cave out in the Martian waste with a gleaming node of the purest titanium ore you've ever seen. It's worth quite a lot of credits, but some say the heart of Mars is cursed. Hundreds have gone in search of it, never to return. And every one of them met a grisly fate. Maybe, just maybe. You could be the first to succeed, though. You know, if you think you got what it takes. No judgment if you're too scared. Um. Because in Roman mythology, Mars was the god of war. His heart is cold, but tough like titanium. One of the miners started calling it that long ago, and the name stuck. Seems fitting enough. Okay, let's get on it. That's the spirit. You sure didn't seem like the type to be scared off by tales of cursed rocks. I'll give you the coordinates for the cave. Good luck out there, and be careful. Hey. Okay, bye. Um... As active. I sure hope this hearing loss isn't permanent. Uh, how do I get in here? Aha, from over here. Okay. Oh, we're not on New Atlantis. So we can that a bit make it a little less jaggy and then we go up here ba 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 Cycling airlock. Oh, no. Ah, uh, that. That. Okay. Okay. Still no companion. Oof. Uh, what weapon have I got? On um, your eleven. Got a lot of bullets for this. something over there huh okay that's it Let's take, uh, can I scan? Or are you a... Yep, you're a harvest one. Da, 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 da. What are you? Okay. Frozen water. Okay.
There you are. Here. And we have something here. That can't be it. <sighs> Okay. I was expecting more. Uh, that button. Turn off my headlight. they call this the red planet what hold on you're telling me you actually found the heart of mars it's supposed to be harmless prank we send newbies to go find it's not supposed to actually exist yet here it is or at least something resembling the legend the only way this could happen is if damn it if i gave you the wrong cave coordinates well, whatever you found, it's still impressive. You showed me up on this one. Feel free to keep it, since I'd say you earned it. Okay. Mm -hmm. Ah, you're in... Um... Oh, is that a door? Look at mine. <coughs> Sorry, I don't really have much to say. Since you helped us out with the equipment and all, <coughs> I was wondering if I could talk to you. <coughs> um. It's it's probably <coughs> not, but. I can't afford to go get it looked at. <coughs> idea what's causing it? No idea. <coughs> Some sort of lung rot. Maybe from all the Martian dust that <coughs> kicks up in here. Or it could be something worse. I uh, could give you some money? It's not a matter of money. There's more to it than that. Actually, maybe this is wrong. You're a total stranger. Forget I said anything. Thanks, I'll try it, but 
I really should see an actual doctor. It's clear you want to help. Maybe I can trust you. See, I'd like to go to Reliant Medical for treatment, but my father, Nathan, is an executive with the Reliant. I came to Sidonia to escape him. Nathan is not a good man. Not to me. And I did something terrible to him, so now he is searching far and wide for me. He has connections with doctors throughout the settled systems. I don't know which ones I can trust, and it won't end well for me if they snitch to him. Okay. <coughs> it's a risk I have to take. Yes, my condition is getting worse, but there's a chance it will clear up on its own. If my father finds me, well, I know my father and I fear for my safety. That is a definite. <coughs> Trevor tells me you're skilled in dealing with people. Maybe you could try to reason with my father, or maybe scare him into backing off. But you should know, he has powerful and dangerous friends, so you must be careful. If it works, I'll be free. If not, well, at, at least he still won't know where to find me. <coughs> what do you think? Just tell me it where. It just so happens there's a conference he goes to on Neon around this time of year. He always stays at Hotel Volai. He won't see visitors he doesn't know, but maybe he'll talk if you tell him you're there on my behalf. It's risky, but maybe he'll listen if he knows you mean him no harm. I've got it. Bring him a bottle of his favorite whiskey, Red Harvest Reserve. Say it's... <coughs> Say it's a peace offering from me. That whiskey is exceedingly rare. I'm sure it will pique his interest enough to hear what you have to say. Um, ba -ba -ba. Good luck. You can check with Jack at the Broken Spear for the whiskey. He may have some or <coughs> know where to get it. And thank you so much for trying to help me. Okie doke. Uh -huh. ah. Don't uh, run away. This exchange is a great place to buy your weapon. Um, oh, yeah. Ah. Been serving drinks here for over 40 years. Few places can offer that kind of stability. I am, but you don't look like the type that could afford it. Last person who came through here asking about it was none other than Governor Hurst. Didn't even want to drink it. Said he was buying it to put it on display in his office or something. Seems like a waste, but eh, whatever. He paid up. You don't have to ask me twice. Okay. Let's see. Well, now you got my attention. This ought to be good. I do have a soft spot for that girl. Okay. Why didn't you say so? I know Rivka's story. Will this really help her? Okay, let's try it. I do believe you, but you realize what kind of a bind this puts me in, right? Tell you what, I'll do this as a favor for Rivka. She's been through a lot. 
I'll only charge you what I paid for the whiskey years ago. Pay me that, and it's yours. Okay. I sure hope you're not pulling my leg about this whole thing, or else I just let all that money slip away. You better do justice for Rivka. Hey. What? Any vacancies on your crew? Uh, what's your ex area expertise? Put me behind the trigger of your ship's energy weapon and your targets are gonna have a very bad day. Uh... I'm not asking for much, just a reasonable share. Uh, I'm not paying that much. Fine. See you around. Huh, that's interesting. So we're off to Neon, it appears. 